Good morning everybody. Um, today is the August day and as, I, as you saw in the beginning it's total chaos. Total chaos versus the serene environment that we're in called the forest. No pressure, no shouting, no testosterone babies. Just peacefulness. I know I'm going to have to wear my flame suit for this but it's actually very very funny. Today I'm riding with Mr. Victor. You guys remember Victor from 123 Dirt? That's the famous man over there. Today we're going to go up to level 5 and do some single tracks. Uh, we're going to be recording the single track and how to, you know, if someone wanted to know how to do, I think it's Puff Adder. What's it say there? Puff Adder single track? Yeah, Puff Adder, you got Five Spades. Five Spades is the only one that's open. No, it says there, but it's actually it's further up, it's open. So we're going to go down the single track and we're going to record um, how to go down there. Victor, I don't think, has done it before, so I'm going to show him how it's done. And I'm going to take you guys with on the adventure and um, see if, if we all stay on top of our bikes. Take you along. Thanks for coming with. Hi, guys. Um, we're actually top of the hill now. I'm going to actually activate my tribe of Strava. And you can see the trail, and if you want to download it, you may. I'll put it in the description as well. But we're actually now at the top of Mount Mamba, and we're going to walk it, and then we're going to ride it, and then show you how it's done in sections, and which is more difficult, which is easier, which you can roll, and maybe you have to be careful for. But the trail looks like this. That's it. All right. Can I go? Yeah, go for it. All yours. So that's the start of Mamba and we'll see you guys again when we walk the trail and when we ride it. I'll do it the next trail as well. See you guys later. As you guys can see the first rollable section, technical section comes over here. It's where your line choice is very important otherwise your bike gets unstable very quickly. But it's all rollable, don't worry about it, it's not that technical. Again, choose your line. And suspension setup is very, very important. Not too soft, not too hard. Your rebound mustn't be too hard to kick you off on the corners. It's all very rollable. First berm. And then back to the entrance. Very simple. I'll show you now where the first drops are about. Not that difficult. Like I said, very easy rollable route. You, you can lay on your back brakes, try to modulate your front brake. Roller, roller, choose your line. Line is very important, and also speed. Through over. Roll, roll. First technical corner, it's like a mini rock garden. You're gonna see Victor roll through. It's all very rollable. And the first rock, rocky section, as you can see goes left which is a lot easier or if you're at speed and you want to have more balls you can go out to the right hand side which I, I would prefer because it goes over these roots over here and they're all very straight line comparative to these ones will can unsettle your wheel when it's wet it rolls through again reiterate you can Sort out your back brakes, feather your front brakes, but not too much because you don't want to get stuck in a rut and go over the handlebars. And also remember speed is your friend, you don't want to go too slow. 
Okay, now here comes the first couple of drops. This, this one over here first. And then these staircases over here. Now, Victor will walk it down and you can see how steep it is. <laughs> see, that's, that's pretty much it. It's very rollable, very easy to control. Just choose your line speed. Again, feather your front brake. Have a lot of back brake if you want, but still contain your speed. Like I said, they're very rollable, easy to control. Feels good. <laughs> After that drop, you're gonna go, it's gonna be rollable, and you get your last drops. This one looks more daunting than the other one, but it's not really that more, more difficult. All rollable, all the gaps are filled, and Victor will walk it down so I can see it. See, all the gaps are filled, nothing serious. Only the one right at the bottom is a little bit more steeper. You see, that's the two most difficult sections of the entire trail, is these two little drops of this trail. Okay, after that drop, after this drop you roll, Back break. Come coming. Around the corner. Quite simple. You can do it. There we go. Feels good. So after those two drops, it's just riding through. I think that's Mamba. The easiest trail, that was an easy trail to do. The next trail is Boomslang. Okay guys, this is Boomslang. Very rollable, very easy to go. Body position is important. Stay behind the saddle. Feet flat. Onto the pedals. Couple of roots. Some rocks to navigate, but that's pretty easy. Boomslung guys, as simple as that.
So now those two sections, one on top, one over here, the most difficult out of the entire lot. It plays with your mind, but you can do it. Walk it a few times and then play with it. Don't walk it too much because it gets into your head. Roll it and get it done. Speed support, no, not too fast, just the right speed. Feather your front, but I prefer to stay from away from the front and play with your back brake. Now, Victor did it. Victor, what did you feel about the route? I mean, how did you, when you entered the trail, what did you think? Looking at it first is a bit dodge because of, of the step offs and then the roller points. But choosing your right line and just letting the bike do its work. Perfect. And it felt good, eh? <laughs> You're like an angel. <laughs> Now there we go guys, it's not that technical. That's on this trail was the most difficult. Just now I'm going to show another one which is actually very rollable as well. It has a beeline. But again, walk it, look at it and roll it. As simple as that. Don't let it get into your head. That's the worst thing. Your head's your worst enemy. Let your bike do the work. Okay guys, this is um, Snake Ice Trail. And I'm going to walk this with Victor. And to show him there's only one little drop with a beeline. Sandy bit, but like I said, rollable. S stick to your left, and here we come up to the drop. So, see, Victor can walk it, can either go right or just walk straight down here. Don't fall, Victor. <laughs> Don't make a YouTube moment. See, that's it. <laughs> There we go. That's it. That's as, as simple as it gets. Again, it plays with your mind, but you can come down here and roll it throw, uh, right over here, or just suck it up, go over here, and carry on straight. There's a bit of rock, choose your line, and you're good to go. Guys, this is fast bait. The first section is going to be a berm. It's going to play with your mind if you've never done berms before, but it's very easy. Let the bike do the work, let momentum take you, feather your brakes. Now, fast bait breaks into two pieces. It goes XEO, cross country Olympic style, and down the left and on the right. The downhill section, as you can see, There's a lot of roots, and then the jumps, which is not my forte. Come down the XCO sections, a lot of braking bumps, as you can see. Don't let that concern you. In the first section drop is this root, which is followed by a bigger root and a drop. Don't you can put one wheel over it and then take it slowly that way or you can just let all your wheels go over at the same time and drop it. Then after that, so it looks like this, it's a bit of a step versus that step. So you come down this step, that step. I think the cross country guys are going to come now. Okay, like I said, step, step, stick to the left, to the XC, XCO section. 
Got a technical section. And then this little drop over here. So step down, you can roll it. It's not big at all. Just roll over it. It looks like this from the top. Before you even know it, you're down. All right, guys, this is fast bait, and it's pretty cool. A lot of sand, so stay away from your front wheel when you turn corners. So stay away from your brakes at least. Sorry guys about my suspension, it's a bit of a squeaky one. Okay, good. You're good. around here so either you walk it or choose your lines ahead always look ahead all well, right guys was first bait very simple yes it's very technical in a lot of ways but the more you do it the better it is for you well, there you go guys the trail wasn't that difficult it's actually more in your head than anything else yes you do need some technical ability to ride over rocks what brake does what and what to feather and let the shocks do all the work but at the end of the day it wasn't that difficult it's like i said more in your mind victor rode it for the first time walked it then rode it and it wasn't as bad as he thought now let victor tell you how what he thought about that i'm still shaky <laughs> Honestly, total mind numb. Look at it too long and you're never going to do it. So yes, we did walk it, which is normally the safest option to do. Um, walk it, check out the sketchy bits, choose your lines, 
Get on your bike and take the lines. Perfect. But other than that, you enjoyed it completely. Can we go back up? <laughs> With a shuttle though. I'm not riding back up there. <laughs> He's one of those shuttle babies. He doesn't like uphills. He was shaky on the way up already. <laughs> But otherwise it was easy, you did it fine, didn't concentrate on it too much, yeah. and you rode it. Yeah, your concentration level has to be there constantly. Body position is there. Body position has to be there. Other than that, just let the bike roll. See guys, it wasn't so bad. It's quite pretty easy to do. And um, all you got to do is bring your courage, bring the bike, and have fun at the end of the day. But thanks for coming with an adventure, and I'll see you guys soon again. Have a good day.